One empty seat in the city council chambers to chambers today that was Tamaya Denards. The clock is ticking for her to make a decision. Will she stay on council or resign her seat? Her lawyers say that decision will come by the end of next week. The first term councilwoman is charged with bribery and attempted extortion. Today, most of City Hall weighed in on that controversy. That's where we find Walter Smith Randolph tonight. Walter. Yeah, Paul and Kyle, the key words today here at City Hall are if true and due process. It seems that most of the people here do not want to pass judgment, but they do say if the allegations outlined in this criminal complaint are true, Tamaya Denard must step down. It was a short but dramatic Cincinnati City Council meeting, the first meeting since Tamaya Denard was charged with bribery and attempted extortion. Her seat sat empty as Mayor John Cranley gave an ultimatum. If these allegations are true, or if there's no credible explanation of innocence, innocence, which in my mind means she either didn't take the money or she didn't send those texts. And unless she can claim that, she needs to resign. If true is a familiar phrase ringing through these halls on Plum Street. While city council members don't want to pass judgment, they say city council needs trust. I think it is going to be very difficult for uh, her to do this job in the context of everything she's going through. And, you know, due process is obviously something that's afforded to her as it, as it should be to everyone. Local 12 obtained Denard's personnel file dating back to when she served as an aide to Councilmember P.G. Sittenfeld in 2011. The file only contains payroll paperwork. Sittenfeld says he's devastated. Shocked by news about someone who has been both a friend and a colleague, and I am praying for her. Denard broke her silence with a Facebook post, thanking everyone for their thoughts and prayers. While Denard mulls her next move, City Council is trying to restore trust. That that is not how I conduct myself, how this administration conducts itself, and I'm confident my colleagues on this day has conduct themselves. And I don't want all the great work of this city we all love to be tarnished by this. Now, there is a provision in Ohio state law that allows a city council member to be suspended if they are charged with a felony. So we reached out to Prosecutor Joe Dieter's office to see if that process has been triggered. His office says they've been contacting and talking with the Ohio Attorney General's office, but right now, all options are on the table. For now, we're live at City Hall. Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. Paula, Kyle. All right, Walter, thank you so much. And there's nothing in the city charter that allows a recall process. Outgoing council member Amy Murray says this is an example of why that needs to change. That that's what we're looking at right now. What can we do in the future so that we have an option if for some reason a council member is unable to fulfill their duties? Do we need to look at something like an absent policy? We have no absence policy right now someone could miss every council meeting and still be a council member and draw a salary. Denard remains on council collecting a $65,000 salary. Now there are a lot of unknowns as this story continues to unfold. We'll stay on top of it every day right here on air and online at local12.com.